YouTube. What's up, baby? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, so having fun coming off of home time. Uh, it's been a eventful time. Came off of home time. Oh, well, first let's start off. Uh, your boy is officially a recruiter for for Steven's Transport, bro. I am a, a, a recruiter for Steven Transport, bro. Oh my gosh. I went to a school. I did a school visit. And um, and I talked to the guys or ladies too about Steven's. And I got paid for it. Oh man. I'm sorry, okay? I am a recruiter, man. God damn, bro. Sometimes it just happened like that, okay? So, yes, okay? I'm a recruiter. So, um, if you're thinking about going to Stevens, man, um, hit me up. What I'll do is uh, I'm going I'm to uh, I'm a, I'm a register an email and... Um, you can hit me up in the email and we'll talk back and forth uh, about coming to Stevens. Um, the difference between me and most recruiters, man, I'm going to be hands-on with you, man. Well, not I can't say hands-on because I'm not going to do your paperwork. But most recruiters, man, they just want to get you in there and move on to the next, okay? I'm going to help you as much as I can through the process. If I need to call somebody, I ain't got to pull like most people, I, but I'll do what I can. And, you know, once you come into Stevens, I'm not going to not talk to you, okay? I'll call and check on you because we'll exchange numbers and um, and things like that. And also, you know, I'll give you my trucking information, my name, and all that to put down on, on the application so I can get the referral bonus. And we'll go half on it, okay? Most people say, man, why would you do that? That's your money, but... That's our money, man. Without you putting my name down, even though I am giving you an opportunity or I'm giving you information, but you can find this information anywhere, but you were nice enough to put my name on the application, okay? So uh, my advisor, she told me to, uh, I need to get in contact with a recruiter and make that my one recruiter that we go through so they know to put my name. Cause what happened is, those recruiters won't put my name down, you know, when you put my name down and I, we won't get the money and I won't be able to split it. So we got to make sure that if you come through and you put my name down, that we got my name on there. So when I get the money, we can split it. Okay. But anyway, I digress. Ah! <laughs> Bang. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm a recruiter. Cool. Do y'all see them bananas in the back? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. You got to be healthy out here. But anyway, um, I'm out here learning, man. Okay, I'm still learning. Uh, I will be a trainer. Um, I've been pre-approved. And uh, my date that I'm going to go in and start getting certified or whatever you want to call it is November 20th. So uh, if you're trying to get me to train you sometime after no uh, November 20th, you need to go ahead and uh, get, be, make sure you have Stevens ready to go, okay? But anyway, so I'm here at the Hershey plant and um, getting my load reworked. This is my second time here. Now, this coming out, coming off of home time started bad already after I went to the uh, school. So the load that I was on, that was going to Dallas, I mean, going to Laredo, that joint got pushed to the next day, which is today which is crazy. I probably should have just took that load. But um, that joint got pushed back. So then I got pushed on this one. It's a Hershey load. More than likely, they, you know, they preloaded trailers, but they didn't have any trailers. So it was a live load. The dude that loaded me up came out and said, hey, man, you might want to go weigh this because you're probably going to be over on your gross. And I was like, okay. But I ain't had no hours. I didn't have any hours to... Uh, to uh oh shoot you know what oh anyway i didn't have any hours to go there and come back so i went there last night and i waited and clearly i was overweight on the gross by 20 
about 20 pounds. I was 8,000, 80,000, 20 pounds. But I was 36,000 over, I was about 2,000, but I was 36,000 on my tandems. And I only had a quarter of a tank. So I'm thinking they're gonna take 2,000 pounds off to make this legal. I didn't put any fuel in my truck. So when I got here, they only took off 38 pounds. What are they doing that? They only took off 38 pounds worth of shit, okay? And reworked it so it wasn't 36,000 pounds on the tandem. So when they did that, I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. So when I went to go reweigh it, I was like, man, I might as well put some fuel in here and see what it is, because they might have to redo this shit again. So of course I re I put the fuel in and reweighed it. And now I am 760 pounds over on my drives, of course, because they only took all 38 pounds. And I'm 80,660 pounds on my gross. So they're gonna have to, you know, they're reworking it. Of course, you know, the dude was mad because he had to rework it and stuff, but like Hershey, come on, man. Why this take off 2,000? Let me go and I'm good to go. I really thought they was gonna take off 2,000 and I was gonna be Gucci, okay? But learn my lesson, okay? If I'm, if I go weigh this shit and the joint is 80, if I'm 80,000 and I'm over it by any, fuel up, full, fuel it up, fill it up. There we go, fill it up and then bring, and then, you know, weigh it and bring it back. So then they can just do this one time, okay? So that's lesson one, okay? Fill up. Put some fuel in your truck if you're gonna be gross, okay? Because I'm going into Florida. Now, mention in Florida, okay? If now what I learned, my just for me, I don't know about anybody else, but if a load is over 43,000, if a load, no, not 43. If a load is over 40,000 pounds going into Florida while I'm working at Stevens, I'm gonna de I'm gonna decline it. So I don't have to go through this. I'm gonna I mean, bruh, it's Ah, okay, maybe not 40. Okay, we'll just have to we have to play it by ear. Okay, but <sighs> I'm losing money, okay? But it ain't hurting me that bad because of something that happened to me this week, okay? We're not gonna do paycheck videos, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um I'm gonna be alright. Uh and plus I'll get that money from uh from going to the school which are kind of offset this. And uh, really, if I get down there, get a load Friday that delivers my, uh, Sunday, um, and I can turn that in, I actually will have a decent week coming off of home time, so it won't hurt me. But if I get a load that doesn't deliver by Sunday, because that's when I transflow my shit, my stuff, if it doesn't work out that way, then that trip will go on to next week. Me going to that school will offset. Well, actually, I would just, I won't probably make a profit. I'll just be able to make my truck payment and my fuel. So I probably won't get a paycheck again, which will be okay, but we're not going to do paycheck videos. Okay. So, but if that happens, then the load that I get after this load will go on to next week's. So I'll probably have over 3,000 miles. It'll probably be about 35, 38, maybe 4,000 miles for next week because I got this week's put on there but we ain't gonna do paycheck videos because you know how people do that you know when they have a great week they, ah, i'm just playing y'all i'm just playing <laughs> oh my gosh this is no shot this is whoever does paycheck videos okay oh my gosh i probably shouldn't even upload this because oh my god oh my god it's just a joke man stop taking shit serious but anyway that's what i learned from yesterday and today okay forty thousand and up going into california i mean uh florida and California, be careful. And if you're over in gross, when you fill up, fill it up. So when they uh, when they have to rework it, they rework as a full tank and what's back here, okay? So you don't gotta keep coming back and forth because I'm losing so much money. I'm losing so much money. Then I'm gonna hit the traffic. Then the goddamn shit was so weight, uh, so heavy. I think one of the airbags is leaking, so I gotta go to the Petro and then this junk, the 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 uh, what is this thing called? The trailer got to get an inspection, the DOT inspection, and a damn tire is shitty as hell. So we got to get that done, okay? But it's all good.
because uh, worst case scenario, you know, <laughs> we park and go home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We go home and see my wife and my son, bro. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all this other shit, man. We ain't out here chasing money. We chasing our lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, if you ain't about that life, man, get out this truck, man. Because this stuff, it, it'll play with your head. Because, you know, you'll get, ah, because you want things to go smooth. And sometimes it don't go that way, okay? So, you just got to keep your head on straight. Keep your mind. Keep, stay focused and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, if you ain't about that life, man, get out the truck, all right? Over and out.